What's good? It's Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. This is not another, another damn podcast. Presented by our damn selves. Oh, 371. Uh-huh. I think we should go right into it. It's like how usually we like, oh, to shit. It's like we to go <laughs> All right. Like, breaking news. We gotta go. We're breaking the literally breaking news. We got to go right into this shit. It's like <laughs> you might not even have gotten it because like the alerts just started coming in on my um, devices. Joe Biden is out of the 2024 presidential race. I saw that, but I thought it was satire because I did see it come up, but I couldn't verify the source. But I saw it come up on Twitter or X rather. And I would, you know, how people just post anything without yeah. fact checking or anything. So I did see that I saw it come up through on X as a notification. President Joe Biden said Sunday he's in ending his bid for re-election amidst intense pressure from the Democratic leaders, sounding the alarm in his past to be former President Donald Trump in November has vanished. So Biden's out. So that means uh, most likely that Harris is going to be the front runner. I don't know unless they like um, a surprise third party. Like it's it got to be Kamala Harris now. So like, yeah, like who's going to be her vice president though? That's the next question. Is like yeah, it's like. Oh, he tested positive for COVID too. Yeah, he got, yeah, COVID. Yeah, oh, you missed all of that. Yeah, <laughs> he tested yeah. um the other day for COVID. Yeah, so yeah. and not being funny, but like he's at very his, old at his age. He's like COVID, COVID could be a death sentence at that age. It's like yeah. so maybe that's why he's also like, hey, like I need to yeah. because people people like to laugh and joke about stuff, but being a president is a serious ass job. Like I'm not trying to be like. The ages people, like whenever I make a comment about that it should be age limits on these politicians, like you cannot be, you should not be in your 70s. Career and 80s politicians should be, that shouldn't be a thing. It's like, you should not. Yeah. And then people say, well, why not? And people like, like you can only like, not being funny, but the boomers, then they try to come at me. But here's my thing I'll say to them okay, here's my check in made to you, boomer. If you guys listen to this podcast, maybe you don't, but if you do, we're listening to podcasts and no, I'm just joking. Go ahead. <laughs> if you do, here's my thing. Okay. Since you say no age limits. Okay. So the next time you go to a sit down restaurant, do you want your server to be an 80 year old? Do mm-hmm. you want the cook to be an 80 year old? If you say no, nah, I need my food. Why not? Mm-hmm. Why not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let the waiter be 80 years old. Let the uh, chef be 80 years old. Let the valet person who parks your car be 80 years old. Yeah. No, but it's different. How is it different? Well, their job. Exactly. So certain jobs, as you start to do it, your body naturally slows down when you get older, as you age. Even people who are in tip top shape. We saw Jack LaLanne. He still ran, what, a mile a day, two miles a day, yeah. up until he died? Into his 90s, yeah. Into his 90s, he was doing But it. when he was in his 30s, 40s, he was doing, like, five miles or something, probably. Yeah. 90, he's doing, like, a mile and a half at 90. Yeah. See? Even him, he slowed down. Even though he was in tip-top shape, you just naturally begin to slow down as you age. That's a natural progression of life. And I feel like when you get over a certain age, you should be enjoying the fruits of your labor. Like, are you going to literally work until you die? Like, like what's the plan? Right. What's Herb, the plan? Herb Kent style and shit. Yeah, is that what you're No. I mean, it's one thing to do it. Like, I mean, I think that for Herb, it was more of like, you I'm know. Just, I'm, that's, that's the radio jock and be joking. Yeah, like Herb yeah. did. Oh, yeah. Well, it, like it, for it, him it, and his it, situation, it, like, yeah. Herb but, did it literally up to the end. That's what <laughs> Yeah, he did. But like, if you want to do something to busy your time, it's fine. But actually working a real job, it's like. And yeah. then the job president. President. That's like the most stressful job in the world. Being the president. president, like when they went into office and when they came, look at Obama now. It's like, it's like Obama is Obama's a certified daddy now with all that white in his hair. <laughs> he certified daddy. Barely sixty. Yeah. Like, dude, looks like he he looks almost as old as Biden. <laughs> it's like that job ages the shit out of you. When it well, does. I saw him. Hi, I'm Barack Obama. I'm like, dad. Yeah. A job ages the shit out of you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Michelle still got her edges. Michelle's still looking pretty much how she did when she came in in 2008. Yeah. Michelle wonder, still. You <laughs> wonder why Michelle don't want that job and shit. Because <laughs> everybody's saying. Michelle, maybe. 
But if you look at Michelle from 2008 and look at her now, she's maybe aged about six years in that time frame. <laughs> she is not aged that much. She's maybe aged about six years in that window. But Barack, definitely, you look at Barack in 2008, he was a young whippersnapper. And now you look at him, it's like, like dub, dub he's still a nice looking guy, but you know, he's. Dub use another one, look at him when he yeah, in 2000. <laughs> And then look at him. <laughs> he looks like somebody granddaddy for real now. <laughs> um, Bill Clinton, like when he was playing the saxophone versus like when he got out of office and shit. Like, <laughs> Bill, this is the progression of Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton looked like uh, he looked like uh, Bob Barker, early Bob Barker, and now he looks like late Bob Barker. That's what he looks like. <laughs> like when Bob Barker's hair was like mixed at first, and then his hair was totally white at the end. That's what Bill Clinton did. He looked like that. <laughs> Dog years and he get going getting back to our original point. The job age is like dog years. Biden was already old when he got the job. He was almost eighty and shit then. It's like so, which is why, like, yeah, I think after that um, debate, it was a wrap. That was the moment when um they said, okay, like he got to go. Even though he said he wasn't gonna drop, but they've been in his ear like all of them. Barack been saying you need to drop out. It's like, mm -hmm. like uh, the a lot of the senators and like kind of the Democratic they like, dude, you need to drop out. It's like yeah. even Barack said to him <laughs> like after that debate, he was like the video Barack or the tweet or whatever he put out. He was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, I I I know it wasn't the best, but it's like it. It wasn't like no, it's not a but. I know it because he was trying. I know, but stick with us. Stick. With, he kept all trying to push that he narrative. Stick with us. Closed doors. He was telling them, "Dude, you need to drop out." Like, that's what word has. <laughs> and then the thing that people are trying to compare. Yeah, D Democrats look weak doing that. It's like they're like they didn't tell Mitch McConnell. It's like the Republicans did tell Mitch McConnell to step down, but he just refuses to. <laughs> they did tell him to step down after Mitch McConnell. He he. When he um, Dude froze. when his um, they had to reboot his server. No, yeah, he because he was he was just yeah he was just frozen like he he froze. Yeah, he did try, but I mean, but sometimes like we said, ego and pride can be a very so ugly pride thing. And, like pride. And, and power, like nobody who wants pride, to let, ego power. Nobody wants to let go of that power, especially president is like the most powerful motherfucker on the planet. Mm -hmm. I can still like, do it. Wants to give that up. It's like yeah. <laughs> Like we saw on a smaller scale uh, with the Bulls, like when they told uh, Krause, like, "Oh yeah, Jerry Krause says just send him home. You're but, retired. But just send him home. It's like yeah. you're retired. Like they had to retire Krause because he wasn't, mm -hmm. he wasn't trying to step down, and they had to <laughs> retire him for him. And it showed no signs of getting better. So they say, "Ah, yeah, you got to go home. It's like, hey, we don't even know what you're doing at this point. It's like." <laughs> But you have to know when to hang the, you got to know when to hang the hat. You got to know when to do that. So Biden doing I that. I expected this because um, I, it's just been the decline, like the, the um debate combined with the assassination attempt on Trump is like, I don't, they say like the gap is like <laughs> way too big. Like Biden got some catching up to do. Like, yeah, he's like, he's way behind him because that pushed Trump to another level, that shit. And Biden already looked like shit because of that debate. It's like so, yeah, yeah. so that combined with that is like yeah. when you got Hulk Hogan at your fucking RNC like oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and Hulk Hogan in itself is like <laughs> I mean the man who was caught on a hot mic saying that if my girl is if my daughter is gonna fuck an N-word, it better be one that yeah. makes a hundred million dollars a year. It better be a ball player, not a broke one. What you he got? said that on a hot mic. That actually happened. And boom, I'm not racist, but it's like, you're not racist, but let's hear it. Let's the rest of that. You're not racist, but <laughs> let's hear it. You got Amber Rose and shit hanging. Warhead tattoo and all. It's like <laughs> Here's my thing about Amber Rose, and <laughs> I feel like she picks and chooses when she wants to be black. Mm. She does like she. She's a person who cosplays. Like she's like, I'm a black woman when it's convenient. One, uh, when I first saw her, I didn't even know she was black. I thought I said the white girl. With the she shit. cosplays with it. It's like, yes, yeah, she is technically early a biracial early, black woman. She interview, is. I called her. I said the white girl with the shaved head. That's what I call. Then yeah. people start telling me she was black. I'm like, oh, she is. Okay, I didn't know. So yeah. And then I saw her mom. Her mom does like Pam Greer. Her mom like how Pam Greer I mean, looked I, back. I, I probably didn't see mom. the mom two years later, but oh uh, yeah, somebody. Yeah. Had, 
Like, oh, okay. So I saw the picture of her parents because I was kind of denying it too. Because I was like, is this another? Well, we she wasn't out then, but or was she out then? Rachel Dolezal. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but I thought that maybe she may have been trying to, like, okay, you're black. And then when she showed the picture of her parents, I was like, oh, okay, her mom looks like Pam Greer. Okay, so she is black. Okay, but I feel like she picks and chooses when she wants to do it. And my thing that I said about the whole Amber Rose thing, it's going to be lovely to see the ultra conservatives, you know, get behind this woman who does the slut walk. <laughs> like, it's gonna, that's just going to be fucking hilarious to me. She yeah, has been getting support from, like, the right. Yeah, both. <laughs> but she's a woman who's, she's pro-abortion. She's pro-abortion. She's pro, you know, women being able to do whatever the hell they want to do. She's a feminist. She's a certified feminist. So all this stuff that goes directly against like what you, your core values are, she's in support of. So the fact that you're trying to rally behind her because she's like, I'm a black for Trump. <laughs> you know, she's kind of like that now. So it's like, it's just funny just watching that play out because you see how people People start to shift in, and isn't Every, sure. they, that happens on both sides? But I get the RNC. I'm gonna say it's funny watching it play. I, it it, it does happen on both sides. Absolutely, it does. I love seeing how people. I love seeing how people like to try to eat their words. Like that's just funny joke, to me with people. The joke, the joke I've been seeing online, which is kind of funny, is like uh, it looks like her and Kanye weren't meant to be together. <laughs> they should get back together and all that. Because <laughs> Kanye was wearing his Trump hat a couple yeah, of years ago. Remember that? <laughs> hey, it looks like the two of them should have stayed together. I've been seeing that online. <laughs> May have been his soulmate. <laughs> That's the joke. He did say that he liked exotics or what he called them mutts, whatever he called mixed girls. He said like that in the interview. That sounds like a kind of. He said that in the interview, yeah. He did like say that in the interview. I didn't, I didn't hear it, but it sounds like something he would say. <laughs> so, but that's just funny to me. Yeah. The people who get so far, but then it's like somebody. It's like, so now that they're supporting what you like, but it's like, but. Every other thing you guys oppose on, but the one thing you just zero on that one thing, <laughs> it's just gonna be funny watching that play out because she does do her slut walk and you know, is she isn't she part of like isn't she um an ally to the uh alphabet community? Probably possibly. Yeah. The slut walk she, she says might be an she, ally, I think. it could be because of COVID, because like I saw her on TMZ because they asked her about you know TMZ is gonna ask about they asked about the slut walk. She said, Well, I, I haven't done a slut walk since 2018. I don't know if that's because like it got good COVID, they stopped doing shit like that. Because of COVID. It's like it might be a combination and she just decided she didn't want to do it again once stuff opened back up. She's like, yeah, I don't, don't mm -hmm. want to do it anymore. It could have been that, like, yeah, but she did say, Well, I haven't done a slut walk since 2018 and uh, because they did ask her about it. <laughs> they you post their traps like you know, on your Instagram. I've seen you spread it. You go on Instagram. We've seen your spread eagle photos. Full frontal. What um? <laughs> we've seen your spread eagle photos. Photos. We've uh, seen that. She had her unshaved. Like we saw her pubes on um on Instagram. Or whatever she did. Yeah, like, you had it. That's what I said. Wide open. Just yeah. hello. It was just right there for everyone to see. She did on. So that's why I was like, it's funny that these ultra conservatives, because of course. You guys don't align with that. You don't. Mm -hmm. Like women who are hypersexual, it's not, you know, it's like ladies, you guys like trad wives. So that's what you guys like. Women who stay in the Stepford <laughs> in that box. That's what you guys like. So, well, so I'm, uh, with Dana White, <laughs> of course, like he brought Trump out. So yeah, he was at the RNC. Who else was there? Um, of course, Kid Rock performed. No surprise there. <laughs> he performed. <laughs> What's what surprise he has a bar race for child is just just sad. What was <laughs> that he has a mixed child is like okay. What was surprising <laughs> is what everybody was waiting for. Like 50 Cent didn't make an appearance. 50 be trolling, I think. 50 might not even vote. I think he just be trolling just like just to fuck with people. It's like it's like he does he's a petty cancer. That's why I just say about him. He's a petty cancer. Be fine. <laughs> he is. And he's a person that likes to, okay, if you're talking about me. Yeah. All press is good press. That's 50s motto, I feel. But he said he may or may not even vote, like you said. <laughs> People say he's a Trump supporter. I think he'd be trolling most of the time when he posts it, like, posts a lot of the shit he does. I'm trying to, oh, here it is. <laughs> the picture when he was on stage. Um, <laughs> let me get to, 
<laughs> with the Trump um with um the the get rich or die trying with Trump's face on his face. I found it. <laughs> uh, where is it at? Okay, He's I don't a hot mess for that. I don't know how to share this shit. Okay, now. <laughs> He's a hot mess for that. <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's you got <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> mini man, he's gonna stay. He did the mini man song with that in the background. <laughs> that was like uh, a lot of people were mad. All here, Trump's post. I think 50 just be trolling. <laughs> that's, a, that's one thing. Um, when people were like saying like that, um, Trump gotta walk out to mini men on um to, at the D, at the RNC and shit after that because like it's about um, yeah, like your yeah, enemies, your yeah, ops taking shots at you. That's what the song is about. So one thing like, I hope is not. I saw somebody say that Hillary Clinton might like, I like, no, <laughs> I, I, hope not. I hope not. No, <laughs> it was the one rematch I didn't want it more than um, uh, the Trump Biden and Trump Clinton. It's like, come on, <laughs> the 2016 rematch, we really don't need that. It's like. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to see hot bat, hot sauce in her bag swag. I, I don't want that. I don't <laughs> want that. Honest, yeah, hot sauce. going to be more of a. You, you know, like if Hillary tries, I, she's going to come up to. They not like us. They not, they not like us. us. They not like us. Yes. They not like us. She yes. be doing that. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> and now if she does that, I'm just going to turn my TV off at that point. Like okay. <laughs> Walk into it, come on. She come out to do the crit to sea walk so they not like us. No, that's not a sea walk. That's sea walk black season. That's not a sea walk. It's not. On stage doing the sea. You saw what she did. You saw what she did no. You see what she did to wobble with Roland Martin. It was like the most ridiculous. He was ro Roland Martin trying to show her to do the wobble and shit. I I'm, so I'm sorry. What? She oh, did a wobble. Roland Martin was trying to teach Hillary Clinton how to do the wobble and shit. And like to this day, people roast Roland about that shit. To this day, they say he was bug, bug dancing for the white woman and all that. Shit. I, <laughs> I'm fine. I, with that. <laughs> I can't because you know how I feel. I'm a line dancer. I'm the person that if I if you go to a party with me or a wedding, whatever the case may be, I get the line going. That's my job. I get the line dances going, and the people surround me when I get the line dances going. So if I saw that, I, yeah, yeah, no, I, I, ugh. but I think that that's going to happen if, if that's, you know, if they do go that route, she's going to come out to a day not like us and it's just going to be a that ridiculous. That has to happen, bro, that has to happen, man. Now that happens, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be like, what the hell? Like, what? It has to happen. What do you mean? What is, it has to happen now, won't you? Yeah. You gotta come out to a day not like us. It has to happen. I don't see how it doesn't happen at this point. Here it is. <laughs> they took an A minor. Let's get up <laughs> to the A minor. minor. They not like us. Let's get up to the good part. Okay, it's like right around here somewhere. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's full screen this shit. <laughs> you see my face. There it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not for that. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm that. that made me embarrassed. Not I did. Not for that. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, though I do remember, uh, now I'm dating myself, but you guys know how old I am. When I was in college, this was 20 years ago, so the uh, I like the way you do that right there. The chicken head dance was the thing to do, and I was in the bar, and some white girls was around me, and they were trying to do that. They were like... They wanted me to show them how to do the chicken head dance. They were like, how do you do that? You're so awesome. They just kept on saying I was awesome because I was hitting it with the... And I was hitting it. They was like, how do you do that? I'm like, I don't know. You just you go with the beats. Go with the music. I don't know. You couldn't <laughs> walk on stage because they not like us doing the trip walk now. That has to happen. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> that has to happen. A minor. That's just going on. Like, hey, hey, when we get many men, we got to get they not like us. <laughs> For the DNC, it's like. Oh my god! Now I wish I was going to the DNC just to see that in person. <laughs> this is a shit show. <laughs> this whole thing is. A... But my thing that I just keep on saying to people, as much as you guys talk about Trump, or well, now even now Biden's out of it. You know, whatever the case may be, the president. Is so far away. Mm. 
literally and figuratively. The fre the president is far away okay, from your reach. At the end of the day, it doesn't affect your day to day life. It doesn't. Yeah. So if you look at your life during each presidency, so I can go back to my adult life. So I was an adult, a full adult during W. So that's like my first one. Because I was able to vote in that election. That was my oh. first. I, when I say adult, I say the election I was first able to vote in. So W oh. was my first vote. Mine will be Clinton. First election I was able to vote in was W. Clinton Dole was the first presidential one I voted in. So you can mm -hmm. see <laughs> Yeah, so W was the first one I was able to vote in. Um, w Gore, right, with you. It had to be that then. Bush Gore. Yeah, that was the first one I was able to vote in. So that was 2000. Yeah. yeah. So mine would have been 96, the one before that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, and you look at how your life is like, okay. Hmm. Your life is kind of the same. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, mm. it's like, you know, I'm going along, you know, I'm, <laughs> I haven't had no, you know, you know, no, thankfully, not going to I haven't had no serious decline. So yeah. that's a positive, but. It's like the people that you need to get to know, your alderman. Who's your alderman? Yep, know that. Mm -hmm. Where's your alderman's office at? Bonus question. Exactly. Who is your alderman's? Where is their Where's office their, at? Where is their office, yeah. Most people can't tell you that shit, yeah. I know mine. I know yours. I know mom's. It's like, see. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know all you got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why don't you know who your person is? Yeah. Because, like, people don't even vote in local politics. It's like... And that's going to be the one that affects your day-to-day. -day. So, like, if you need something going, like, you're the one where if you look at it and you see, okay, this is a busy intersection. Can we put up a stop sign? Yeah. You would go, go to your alderman. You don't go to the president for that. You go to your alderman. Hey, it's, it's, abandoned, it's a lot it's a, of... It's an abandoned building right here. It's, um, it's, it's a haven for drug dealers and crime. Causing and riffraff to come, yeah. Go to their office and get them like they can get it torn down. It's like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing they uh, that they did, uh, that I saw that they did, uh, when they put those cul de sacs up, yeah, they stop the traffic people from going through because, like, okay, people were dealing drugs over here, so we're gonna put up a cul de sac now, yeah. so you yeah. can't ride this block no more, make all, it difficult, all, all, yeah. All cul de sacs, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that affects you directly. What goes that on in your neighborhood? Directly, yeah, that does affect you stuff right in your own neighborhood. Yeah, president, like that's so far removed. It's like, but y'all get that's so, so far removed. It's like the thing that okay, you like yeah, make it you'll, you'll fight your own family member or people you've known for like like twenty five years. Yeah, or, this, they voted different. <laughs> it was like, shit. <laughs> like people are dumb different. shit. Yeah. People will do that shit. It's like but you letting this person who will never like like none of these politicians will even piss on fire to put you out. <laughs> they would not piss on fire to put you out. You standing ten toes down because now you're MAGA or you vote blue, whatever your case may be. You're you're just so I'm ten toes down in my cause, and it's like, but they don't care about you. Yeah, not like that. Like Michael said it best, yeah. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Michael knew. He said. <laughs> yeah, they don't. So, like I said, now you've lost family, you've lost friends. Over some motherfuckers that don't give a shit about me. If you die tomorrow, they're not going to even send the fucking no flowers. <laughs> <Just, All right. laughs> but you like, that's what's on. This is this your king. This this your king. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so um so what should the dems do at this point is like i'm I, kamala gotta be like the front runner is like she's the vice president is like she's and she would automatically inherit that's the thing about is like the um the money issue is like yeah like you can't like all of the money that biden collected like um she would it would go she would get it because of being his vice president a third party, mm -hmm. I don't know if they would have access to that money. It's like all of the, the campaign okay. money. But is it a clause? I say I don't know much about that side. I can't admit that about myself. Is it a clause in the um in the fundraising where it states that it would be eligible for a third party? Like I said, that's why I don't know that fact. Yeah. You know, I don't know that. With her already being because it was Biden Harris already being on the ticket, is yeah, because like, she's already on the ticket. She automatically so. inherit the money. So yeah. So but so now who would be her running mate? That's the question. It's like
it has to be a male, and it has to, it probably has to be a white male at this point. <laughs> it has to be a white male. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of people were like looking at um who's out there for like the yes. Because um, Gavin Newsom, I, 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 I think Gavin Newsom's going to wait until he's going to pick the bones. He's going to wait till 28 and run. It's like, because why, why why join this mess when you could like. I may say what you might call it, maybe considering too, Pritzker might Pritzker's be one who's name has come up. Yeah, like. Um, his name has come up. He'd be a good vice presidential candidate, yes. His name has come up. But, I mean, he's doing stuff in the state as is. Like, he's working on stuff. Yeah, with his. um. Yeah, with the state, so. But that happened, and um, Juliana Stratton will be the governor of Illinois, which uh, that would, that would, um, would, mm -hmm. would she be the first black female, I think? Yeah. I, I think, think so. I think yeah. so. First yeah. female governor, probably. I don't think Illinois had a female governor. She would be the yeah, first. I'm thinking back, I'm like, because we had... Not that I remember. Uh, mm -hmm. it was Thompson, Edgar, Ryan... I don't remember those first two. <laughs> yeah, those, those, I was like, I was like Khalil's age when like... I don't think Ryan is the first one that went to, Ryan... And then Blago, of course. <laughs> Thompson was the early 80s, and then Edgar was like the late 80s, early 90s. And then Ryan was like the mid to late 90s. Okay, so, I remember seeing Edgar's name. Now that you said that, I do remember seeing that. I do remember seeing that name, Edgar. You might have. I, I think he was the early. And, and then um, after him, it was Thompson. I mean, I Thompson, Edgar, Ryan, Blagojevich. Blago. <laughs> um, Pat Quinn. When? Browner and and what's his name Pritzker. That's the governor's like in my life, pretty much. In, yeah. in our lifetime, yeah. Life, yeah. Before that, I don't know about the seventies or the yeah. I couldn't see before yeah, time. I was like, yeah, I remember. And even then, I, I was a shorty. First governor I voted for was might have been the Ryan um, election. No, 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 it was the one before that. It was um, when Edgar was like, yeah, it was like, so that 94-ish or whatever, so you could figure out, you could do the math on my age. It was, it was in that. <laughs> in that realm. <laughs> Somewhere in there, like, yeah. <laughs> my thing about all this is that hmm. I understand having a backup plan, but you do this like a, like, we're like less than yeah, the least, DNC is going to be the week of the 19th in Chicago. At least they decided before the convention. I thought they were going to wait till then. It's like, at least they, at least you got a couple of weeks to figure it out. It's like, um, I thought it was going because if you waited till the end, because then, like, because typically that, because um, traditionally that's what the convention is for. That's when you pick your right to announce officially announce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. announce it. So I thought, are they still are the delegates still going to be picking? It's like, yeah. it's like even though we know that you know, like pretty much we know who's going to be it. Yeah, the, the primaries decide that, and, and and this year the primaries it decided super early. It's like, but what March or something? Like both sides were set. Maybe mm -hmm. before that, it's like they were set pretty early. Like yeah, it was set pretty early. Like, it was set I think after pretty. Super Tuesday, they were pretty much set. Yeah, well, it was pretty much set from day one. He never had no competition. And I think Trump after Super Tuesday, he was set and shit. After the one lady, like when she got beat out by Trump, uh, um, Nikki Haley. Yes, yeah, she was alive. Yeah, you got to think her name. Yeah, it's like she lost in her home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. got washed and shit. Yeah. Yikes! Yeah. Are you losing your home state? Like. That's another um name that was out there for Michigan um Governor Gretchen Whitmer like she's um she's um on the Democratic so I'm just naming and um what's his name Andrew Yang's name was lurking out there still he ran like mm -hmm. in 2020 it's like yeah I remember when he ran yeah I say why not just <laughs> put old Bernie on there as the fucking beep I don't know <laughs> both our Harris Bernie Harris Sanders I don't. Know. You don't need a white man. It's like, <laughs> hmm. like I said, Bernie is another one. I'm like, if Bernie was like 20 years younger, you know. Yeah, Bernie is his old too, which it is. But he was like 20 years because he's even older than Biden. <laughs> he's even older than him. So it's like Biden, Bernie would be Biden, Biden, Biden seems older than us. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's the thing. Like uh, Bernie, like he's still so he Biden, got uh, bought him. Like, he got mad about the ages comments. Uh, Dick Red Dyke jumped in the chat. <laughs> and then Red Dyke was like, how oh, is he? I think he's 98, I think, or something like that. He's like, I'm sharp as a tack. 
Well, the, I didn't. That's one like he, I didn't know. He, I had no idea he was still alive. Dick Van Dyke jumped in the chat. Fine, huh? No, but Dick Van Dyke. No, this man. He still drive. Heck, he still drives his car. Like this man still drives. This man's like, damn near. Random like, people still be alive. Be shocking. Like go, <laughs> like Gomez Adams, like the actor. The, no, <laughs> the original Adams family. He's still alive. <laughs> they do. Wait, what? The dude that played and Raul Julia died like years ago. Like yeah. hey, the, the dude in the reboot from the nineties is dead, but the guy from the original sixties show is still alive. No. <laughs> he, like random shit like that. he has That's, to be a hundred. He has to be. About, I think he's like ninety nine. I think he is about. He has to be. To the sixties, it's like that was like sixty years ago. He was grown as well. He wasn't a young man then. He was probably like 40 then. He's probably like, like 35, 40 at least. Yeah, exactly. He was grown as well. Yikes. Shit. But that's just my thing. It's like you, like, you didn't see, and I get what it is because like Biden has been declined. Like when Biden initially got elected, you know, he was, but then he gradually started to decline. So it's like when you start yeah, seeing that decline. Signs. I saw the signs even then. People didn't weren't trying to see that because like they wanted Trump out of there so bad. <laughs> even then, I'm like, it's something's off about dude. It's like, yeah. So but now fast forward four years later, yeah. It wasn't as overt. Yeah, he's watching. It may have been but... like slight signs, but it wasn't overt back then. But like maybe around 23, 22, 23, like late 22, early 20, that's when you really started to see like yeah. Like, is he gonna make it through the end of the term? Like, you know, when you start not being not being um, morbid or anything, you start having those thoughts. Like, is he going to be able to fulfill to finish his term? Like, you really start thinking about is Kamala going to actually have to step in because that's the first thing. It has been vice presidents who had to take over because Lyndon Johnson because Kennedy got popped. Into Kennedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And ironically, Lyndon Johnson that was the first. Um, He's the first incumbent president that didn't run for a second term. I just thought about it. yeah he he's the first the first what the Biden's the first one since him. I mean let me rephrase that first president since Johnson because Johnson didn't run in sixty eight yeah so mm -hmm. like Biden is the first incumbent that um did one one and done because it's been one and done but they lost they got beat but like he's gonna be a one mm -hmm. and done that didn't run for a second term mm -hmm. he's the first one since Johnson I believe like that's the political nerd in me I think so I looked that up. First but that was really that was really a thought though is that is he gonna make it with it but mm. like how do you not plan ahead like these couple we go up and then when I saw that they were gonna run it back when they and now I'm like he's gonna run again like that was like my re like that was both of our reactions I'm like okay he's gonna run again because mm. I just assumed that he wasn't because I'm like he's everybody he's did <laughs> I assumed he wasn't I'm not being cruel yeah. But then when they're like, oh, we gonna run it back. I'm like I'm like four more years really like dude, you all what it would be eighty three, what when this term, something like that. It's like is he eighty three now and shit? Yeah, is he be eighty four? I think I he's eighty two turn eighty three this he'd be year. Eighty three when the term starts is like, yeah. So you really gonna be president until you're eighty seven. Eighty seven. You really like you really want us to go for that. <laughs> you really think the people are gonna go for that and shit, yeah. So the writing was on the wall, yeah. So yeah, he's one term, yeah. And so now as Harris, you gotta find her running mate, which is interesting. You got really a couple weeks really to the convention to figure that part out. Yeah. yeah it's, they could have did this a long time ago, like exactly. That's like um when they decided um they weren't because like during primary season, they wouldn't even like nobody even ran against him because they said we're not gonna support you. Like the, the Democratic Party said, hey, like if you run against him, then we're not, yeah, you're not getting any of our support. So that's why Biden had no like real competitors during yeah, the no But how many times do you hear, how many, for how many times do we hear this phrase, stay ready so you don't have to get ready? Yeah. You've got to stay ready. Like this, this is a shit show. It is. It's really a shit show. And then it's, like, I'm not saying that it's 100% guaranteed that Trump is going to be president again because we don't, like, we don't, it's still early. We don't know. But yeah, I do have a feeling if that does second. happen. It's still a long time till November. He got shot once. I have a feeling if that does happen again, you know, then people are really going to 
it's really just going to be a bunch of people just really showing their ass. And I'm, I'm overgrown people showing their asses. I'm over that. Like on both sides, like, you know, like I'm already starting to see the post every day about Republican Party this, Republican Party that. And then vote blue. I'm, I'm seeing these posts. Every, I'm, I'm like, ugh. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. You're mongering. Why does like I'm sick of it? I am sick of it. Why is like um nobody ever pitches no legislation to black people? It's only fear. It's like yeah, like vote for this guy or this, or that guy's gonna put you in chains. Like that's the only um that's the only campaign message that they give to the black community. <laughs> or or the other part of it is that I can uh I can uh do the ducky and I can uh, eat Harold's chicken with mild sauce. Yeah. Oh, you at the cookout? Wobble and do the wobble with Roland Martin and shit. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Like black people are not, we're not, we're not monolithic. First of all, we're not. Yeah, there's some black people who still can't do the wobble. Every black person can't wobble. Let's just get that. Uh, yeah, we wobble to weddings and family reunions. It's like it's a lot of people that sit that shit out. Like, no, I'm good. It's like, uh, you can't do this shit. That's why you say. I, I lean into the I do say that the stereotype about black being black and able to dance. I lean into that shit. I, I actually can dance. So that's the stereotype that's true for me. <laughs> but everybody can't. So as long as you don't see walk today, as long as you don't see walk today, not like us, you okay. Kid. <laughs> mm -mm. Hey, not like us. Mm -mm. <laughs> that has to happen. We talked about the RNC, you know, Trump, yeah, because I, I kind of tied all of that together. I was, it's like, did you watch any of it, or do you probably you just want to see the highlights? I did not. Yeah, I, was, I did not. I checked out highlights. <laughs> I have clarity to, to engage I checked, in any I of it. Checked, I checked highlights. I didn't watch. Like, I watched Amber Rose's speech. Of course, I watched Hulk Hogan's speech as the wrestler. I saw, um, like I said, Dana White brought him out. Who else did I see? Um, I saw Nikki Haley. I saw her speech. Like, she was What's his name? Vivek Ramaswamy. I saw him. So I watched some of like the highlights. Like um, like I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, oh, and his um, JD Vance is um his um running mate. So never heard of him. He's um a Cleveland, an Ohio, Ohioan, Ohioan. It's like <laughs> I always say, yeah, he's Trump's um new running mate. Yeah, it's like so JD Vance I had to look him up. He's from Ohio. So Trump had to pick somebody kind of opposite, like he did when he ran in 2016. Is like he picked Mike Pence, like somebody soft spoken, like because Trump's out there. So yeah, Mike Pence said that he would never support. Mike Pence already went on the record and said that he's oh, not. Yeah, I knew he wasn't so, right. yeah. <laughs> he had to pick a new vice president. Trump kind of did throw him under the bus. He kind of did. Hmm. I mean, I get it. If somebody throws you under the bus, it's like I ain't, I ain't fucking with him no more. Hmm. He did kind of throw him under the bus. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, I but I just, I'm just like not looking forward to the whole, just the extraness. And it's like the phrase goes true on both sides. Like, don't, don't, uh, don't write a, a check that your ass can't cash, basically. Like I said, these presidents are so far removed from you on both sides. And you talking all this shit to somebody. What I, on both sides. I'm staying on both sides. So, the Stop thinking that you're protected by people that yeah. don't know you or don't care about you. The positive about this ass <laughs> guy is um, the, which now his age is probably the best thing about him. Thirty nine years old, so like, yeah, you going in the right? Okay, so he's a millennial. So he's an elder millennial. He's my, hey, he's an elder millennial. Yay. <laughs> he, um, so he turns 40. He's about to turn 40. His birthday. He's like the August the 2nd, 84. So I was like, yeah, so at least you pick, so at least you pick somebody in the right age, Frank. <laughs> Elder Millennial. That's another, what I'm saying. What another old guy he picked. At least it's like, I think we need more Elder Millennials slash Gen Xers. Like people our age group, we do because yeah. we're old enough where we've had life experience. We have. Yeah. And then all of our dumb shit that we did, <laughs> it wasn't filmed unless you were at uh, the Freak Dick. Oh, yeah. You went to the 94, the, well, 94. It's all mine. You went to the, you went to, <laughs> <laughs> who said that? <laughs> you went to the Freak Nick back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, for the record, I was too young for the freak. For the record, I was too young. Yeah, <laughs> right before the I was able to go. But it's a sort of the next year, like it was canceled. Yeah, you just missed. <laughs> it ended right before I was able to go. 
<laughs> just missed it by. So I just missed it. Just missed it. Missed it by that much. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah. But like our my age group is like I said, the girls gone wild. Woo! That's my age group, girls gone wild. I'll shout out Stony Stables. <laughs> Cause that's like the early millennium. Like my age group is early millennium. So, but yeah, like uh, I think we need more of the of that. I said because, like I said, we've lived our life lesson. All of our dumb shit <laughs> hasn't been recorded. Yeah, not really. And we can fully inject that new, fresh idea, fresh blood. So, I always say I feel like people in our age group group in the best time because. We saw the evolution of records to cassettes, to CDs, to MP3s, to stream. We saw all that happen in our lifetime. Yeah. We've been through, like I said, we've been through how many wars? We saw a pandemic. We saw 9-11. The birth of the we've internet. We've seen this shit in our years. Birth of the internet, kid. Yeah. Birth of the internet. I said, we're not even 50 years old. And we've seen all this shit. Neither one of us are 50 years old. And we've seen all this shit in our lifetime. We've seen a lot. In less than 50 years, we've seen a lot. Yes, yeah. Mm. So that's why I say that this group is the ones who should be doing the legislation, should be. Should be the, the ones office. running the world. Like um, like I said, the older millennials and the Xers should be running the world right now. The boomers, they should be. They ass down and shit somewhere. So, <laughs> sorry, boomers. We the best. We the best generations. We the best. We are. Boomers, y'all need to go sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> but um, let's talk about this right here. You heard about oh, um, Earth got it. Oh God! Oh. You hear about it? Yeah, sexual assault. It's a rough year for him. Earth got it. <laughs> of course, Fifty Cent it's was a rough year. Cold. Cause Fifty never forgets. It's like he's still <laughs> Fifty. Still, he he's still feuding with Murder Inc. And <laughs> so he's been trolling the shit out of this dude lately. <laughs> It's like he is such a petty cancer. He is. <laughs> and a lawsuit filed on July 11th in Miami. An unidentified woman alleged that Irv Gotti raped and abused her over the course of a two-year period between 2020 and 2022. Yeah. According to the complaint, which is obtained by people, the plaintiff first met the producer through a mutual friend at a poker game in 2020. And this is like where it gets salacious up in the air, yeah. The Jane Doe is alleged that Irv invited her on vacation the same moment she alleged he um, coerced her to having sex with him. The per the lawsuit, he specifically threatened to play that he would send her home if she didn't comply with the man. That's why you don't go on trips with folks that um you ain't uh, that you're not in that you're not in on that level with. That's why it's like if this is like if this is indeed what happened, it's like yeah, according to his power and influence, but she complied. It's like yeah, that's what. Cause like um you yeah you can speak frankly on that is like before you were married you've had guys invite you on trips out of the country early twenties yeah. very early twenties a they guy that I did like he invited he you on a trip out of, of the, out of the country just like yeah, that he was a like, friend of mine I didn't like him like that but he always expressed to me that he liked me and I firmly was like this is the friend zone friend zone firm I was firm in my friend zone nothing, and nothing he happened. Just, nothing happened baby. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. I would never look at you in that way, but he was just so hell bent on that. So he did offer me a trip to Jamaica with him. He offered me to go to Miami with him before. I declined. He offered to do other things for me. I declined every time. I was like, nope, <laughs> nope. And I remember at the time my roommate, she was. Yeah. She was, Girl, you should get his. You should let him. He try and pay for you. You should let him do that. I'm like, no, I'm like, because if I get out there and then he wants more than what I'm like, I'm There's not going out of the country like that. It's like, come on, because <laughs> he he used to they say that he just wanted he just wanted a travel companion. Bullshit. <laughs> like when he said to me, I looked at him like, you must think I'm really dumb. Yeah, I was I was 19 at the time. Matter of fact, I was 19. I was even 20. I was 19. I think I just looked at him like, okay, bullshit. So you when we gonna go out the country and all you just wanted somebody just to travel with. Mm. Bullshit. I was like, okay, nope. Nope, 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 nope. So you were wise beyond your years even back then. Like, nope. <laughs> but it is just like the whole creep thing. So like we see that guys still apparently, like I said, this happened in 2020. So like guys are still using power over women to yeah, get I'm, what they want. Yeah. And people like, well, you shouldn't. It's like, but people 
they see what they want to see or whatever and they that oh well maybe it'd be different like you know that's that's the thing that if you say that oh it'd be different it'd be different it's like if your gut is telling you it's not go with your gut every time you have to go with your gut but if he is a creep and did all that like i hope that he does get you know whatever's coming to him Yeah, well, the suit that's just a came whole down. damn creep We know we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on that one. It just came down yeah he eleven. Yeah, so yeah. yeah he's a whole damn creep for that like i said um Like this is just not his year. I said Shanti got married and she's having a baby. Not his year. <laughs> so I know he was in there. He was punching air when he saw they got married. He thought she was pregnant. He's like, ah, you know, he's you know, just mad. So you know that um, as um, as Yvette said, and baby boy, you would never taste this. <laughs> you knew that it was a wrap on that one then. <laughs> Yeah. The good stuff being creeps, though. Like, I mean, that's something that I want. Like, this year is, well, for practical purposes, July. We're almost in August, technically. So it's like, I feel like this year is just going, the rest of it is just going to, it's just going to breeze on by. So for 2025, can we not be a creep? Can we stop having people be creeps in 2025? Can people just honestly be forthcoming with, like, what they're trying to do? Because here. Yeah. that we'll sleep with you without having to, you don't have to be rapey and creepy. It is women out there who will anything. Lots of them, yeah. So you don't have with to. no strings attached. It is women out there that do exist who are on that, but so Samantha from Sex and the City is really yeah, Samantha's out there in the world. I just mm -hmm. want to just find you a Samantha. That's a Yeah, instead of being a whole creep like that, like, let's stop doing that for 2025. Let's stop being ugh. Mm -hmm. um, we got some flooding here in Chicago and um, Oh, and we yeah. also got um lights out. Like my lights were out. I know the yeah, how yeah, how your power do <laughs> I know Our you lights went off about 10... power. Yeah. It was minor. It happened around bedtime, so that was a positive. It went off maybe around 10 o'clock that night. It came back on the next morning, maybe right before 8 o'clock the next morning. So Nice. So not bad. So I mean, like, we were here just to sleep overnight, but... Mine went off around bedtime. It didn't come on to, what, three days later or something like that. <laughs> it was so funny. He, when we went downstairs to the basement, you know, because it's like, okay, once we start, everybody's phone, everybody's Well, phone they were went warning. off in the morning. Yeah. Like we Well, got okay, Marcus, like, let's go in the basement. Okay, we all go down to the basement. Touched down like on seventy ninth or something. It was like something like that. Yeah. So we They got. say it was on seventy ninth in college. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, a tornado was on college growth. Like, what the hell? By, by happy liquors and shit. Let's go. Tornado wanted All to right, drink. uh, AR leak. By leak, yeah, leak is on. Uh, happy, happy liquors and wanted to drink. Tell you. The <laughs> heroes right there too. I want some hero? We got some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the, by the east of the Ryan. <laughs> tornado wasn't be a pimp. No, that's like the tornado when he used to host there. So that's what it was. <laughs> that was tornado, like his the ghost. <laughs> his ghost. <laughs> tornado used to host that east of the Ryan. I just I put can't. it together. I just figured I it out. It was Big Daddy Woo. -woo. That was his spirit. Spirit of Big Daddy Woo Woo, baby. I can't with you. He was right visiting now. his old hood, man. <laughs> It really was like what else? What's the other explanation could it be? That was Big Daddy Woo, -woo spirit. God damn it! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but we went down to the basement, and then after we sat down in the basement, then we heard the power go off. We heard the air conditioning go off, and we're like, okay. And we lost power now. We saw the Google Assistant go off. We were like, okay, we don't we don't have power now. The kids were on their devices, so they were fine. They was like, oh, and then Khalil was saying something about his tablet, whatever. We left it somewhere after we went upstairs. Yeah, because like we were downstairs in the basement for a while. Then after a while, we're like, okay, it looks like the tornado warning is over. And then he's like, is the tornado over? Because he wanted to go back upstairs. Yeah. And then we left his tablet in the basement. And then he's like, yeah, you guys left it downstairs. We're like, you, we have no internet. So he's like, well, I can just watch my videos offline. I can watch my downloaded videos offline. And we were like, We're kids to today. Like we like obviously we didn't have that because we saw the internet when it started. So we didn't have this as a kid. So he's talking about downloads offline. So then we went back down and got it for him. And 
then we just kind of hung out upstairs until we all just fell asleep. And then I woke up in the morning. I was hoping that I didn't sleep really easily because I was trying to remember if I left on anything in the house. Because you know how it is when you have a power outage and then you left on something then. Especially if you left on your, your TV and then your TV just comes on blaring at like two in the morning. You're like, yeah, you know, it just scares you. Yeah, everything will come back on. Well, your light just comes on your face and you're like, ooh. Yeah. So I was trying to remember if I left anything on. I was like, I don't think I left anything on, but I was just sitting. I kind of was like in a light sleep. So I really didn't get much sleep that night. That's why if your power is going to be out for a while, the best thing they say is just unplug all of that shit. Because you just <laughs> unplug everything. Plug it because you don't if you don't remember whether you left it on, just unplug the shit. That way it leaves no. <laughs> yeah. Everything just comes on. Just unplug the shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was up without power for about three days, yeah, which took me back to the eighteen hundreds. I was joking because they had to actually. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, they had to come out and get to the bottom. I think um, I saw trees up the alley, like um, that had fallen. I'm thinking that has something to do. Well, with that's probably what happened. Yeah, I could see like because you couldn't get through the alley with trees. I said they probably those trees probably fell on something. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's usually when a tree falls down. It's kind of yeah. And then um, thankfully no flooding. So like I said, we checked the basement several times. Like after the rain, we like okay, we got no flooding in our basement. So we were like, Phew. no yeah. floods. That was a positive. But that was crazy though. Um, and then um, let me pull this up. Didn't they say like ten tornadoes or something were spotted? Or it was something crazy. It was yeah, just that's like why the warnings were going off. Tornado warnings. I was trying to tell um our mom that because she was like, no, still they kept going because you know she wanted to watch whatever she was watching, probably a, a game show or something. <laughs> she was trying to watch her shows and shit. It's like yeah. She's like, I watch Family Feud. <laughs> And I was telling her that um the warning that when there's a warning they have like by I'm not working media so by law they have to tell you about that it's like hey mm -hmm. it's a tornado in your area that's like the FCC like that's federal law like they have to tell you that so it's gonna it's gonna uh, it's gonna alert you it's gonna interrupt your show whether you like it or not because the mm -hmm. warning the watch is different they you might you good they might you can ignore a watch a warning is gotta tell mm -hmm. you hey there's a tornado in your backyard basically that's what a warning mm -hmm. is They telling I even I even carry Hercules down the stairs because he like he ain't want to go. I picked him up and he's like, oh, he's I was like, no. Nope. I was like, Hercules, you gotta get downstairs too. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, he would have survived. You know, even if you left him up, he'd probably have, he'd have made his way down there. If shit got serious. Like animals are smart. Like it, yeah. you never <laughs> see animals like um. Like when uh, like with Hurricane Katrina, you you didn't see any dead animals in the street. Like animals are smart; they know how to get the fuck out of there. So okay, it'll seem right. Let's get out of here. They go up to the hills somewhere and wait it out. And <laughs> <laughs> Hercules would have figured that shit out. I think. <laughs> well, I carried him down the stairs. I picked him up, and I was like, "Nope, come on, yeah, he's like, ah, this shit don't feel right. Let's get out of here." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I gotta take Hercules too." Here's what happened to Drake. Uh, he got hit. You know, I guess Canada got some of this storm. Raging wars. <laughs> Drake is like, this is all um, my. It looks like, it like it's um, his his walk in closet. And then, like, the, let's, let's mute the shit here. Yeah. Yeah. But this is how Drake was, what he was dealing with. Look at all. <laughs> he said, better be espresso martini. He was joking about it being the brown water, the liquid. So. That's what Drake was dealing with. You see, somebody was trying to keep it from going into the wardrobe. So, yeah. So, so it shows you that everybody got affected. Even if you got even even the rich and famous, they got hit. Hey, Poppy got affected. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it ain't Drake's year. After first song, yeah, they not like us. And then, yeah, then you got flooded too. <laughs> it's just not your year, homie. Yeah. 2025 may be better for some of us because <laughs> the way this 2024 is shaping up for some of us. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But um, and then after, yeah, let's just now I'm telling about how my week went because I want to go right into that breaking announcement with the with Biden and all that. Ah, okay. Have to go with. And then um after the power eventually did come on the following day, um, like they were filming Chicago PD outside of where hey. I stayed. Which yeah. was um, cool because like I've been on that show before, so I was looking. I was seeing if I was trying to see if I saw anybody I recognized, like whether part of the crew or even like some of the people working like the show is like talent. Nice. I didn't recognize anybody, but um, I did like say okay, they 
because I saw like the um, the signs and everything, like saying that you can't park between these. You know, they block the streets off. Mm -hmm. They block off the street, yeah. You gotta move your cars, yeah. They had all of that, so um, it's pretty cool. So I did get to see they films, and it's literally right because first they were up the block, and then they were like right in front of the building. Like <laughs> the last scene they did when it's get dark, and I was like, oh, they filming right outside my window now. Nice. Yeah, And now so. I gotta watch the episode and see. <laughs> So, because I watch PD, so I'm gonna look. So, oh, there go the building right there. Yeah. See me in the background, that'd be funny. They call me walking in. That'd be funny. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Got me walking in. But, uh, where was I going next? I had another list somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, you know, I love these lists. <laughs> I love these lists. We got another one. <laughs> We have this is Forbes magazine, 25 greatest R&B artists of all time. <laughs> Would you like to see what Forbes said? Let's check it out. Let me see what Forbes says. We got Badu on the picture, so we're going to come I back. I see Badu on the picture, so presumably she's on the list. Yeah. Top 25. Mere snapshot of Val Trying to see, like, I want to see, like, dude, how did it, what's their criteria? I don't know. We'll just go and see. Cleo sold at number 25. I don't know who this is. Have you heard of this? Know. No, I don't know who they that already, is. They already started off on a bad note. <laughs> don't even know who that is. So, yeah, no disrespect, but I don't know who the that British is. British singer Cleo sold. Don't know her. And you said 30 under 30, so definitely I don't know. <laughs> 24, Not under 30. Dwelle, okay, now we get. Okay, familiar. I know Dwelle. Yeah. Okay. Now All right. Dwelle is at number 24. 23 escape okay 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 <laughs> we got okay. tiny candy tasha and tamika yeah y'all know escape <laughs> uh -huh. all four members yeah <laughs> 22 flow a tree oh, okay, okay. marsha and um natalie, and let's, natalie go. Yeah. let's go i've seen them in comfort i've seen them live yeah yeah um 21 keith sweat okay i'm not mad at it <laughs> a lot of people don't rock, rock with keith but okay. uh he's a whole legend out there <laughs> you know why because he makes it last forever <laughs> that's the album yeah that's the keith sweat album if you want to get a keith sweat album that's the one that's the one <laughs> brownstone 20 nice okay okay i wasn't hmm. expecting that i'm sorry i wasn't either Five okay. miles to empty. Let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Who we got at 19? Tina. Tina. Tina number 19. Keep on turning. Mary, keep on burning. Oh, Probably a video of me doing that somewhere. <laughs> me and my friend answered to the proud Mary. <laughs> because a video of us on the internet somewhere. S double U V at number 18. Coco, Taj, and Lili. Let's go. Yes. They had some hits, man. They got catalog. SWV. Uh -huh. Week, um, I gotta see them live. I gotta see them. Live. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, they got some bangers. Yeah, they got You're it. the one for me. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> Can oh, you kink in the night? Yeah, they, they got hits, man. Yeah. <laughs> they got bangers. And then, of course, the human nature. The, um, Yeah, right here. That's probably... The one with um Michael and shit. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Aaron Neville. Okay, a whole legend right here. He might be hey. before the time. Yeah, I don't know if you know Aaron Neville. I know Aaron Neville, yeah. Okay, yeah. In Vogue. Hey. Yes. No, you never gonna get it. Obey. You know who I'm looking for. Uh, you looking at Dawn. <laughs> yeah, Cindy, Maxine, Dawn, Terry. Obey right there. <laughs> You Their said, harmonies were amazing. Like, they had my, some of the best my, harmonies. My dog said it best. I used to have a crush on Dawn and then vote. <laughs> like, honey, Dipper want to get with me. <laughs> but just in case of all my condoms and TLC, let's go. <laughs> but they were so unique because they were all gorgeous. They all could sing. Like, all of them could sing Lee, and they were all so beautiful. So they truly had the whole package in Vogue. They really did. Yeah. We need an, um, an unsung or a biopic with them because, like, their story has never really been told. We need to. Biopic or unsung, let's make it happen. And I say Chloe Bailey should play Dawn. <laughs> yes. Fuck yeah. God damn Chloe it. Bailey oh, should play Dawn in it. Let's go, man. Now I want it to happen. <laughs> Chloe Bailey. She could be Dawn. She definitely would be Absolutely. a Dawn. Yes. 
Now I'm plump. Now that has to happen. <laughs> you gonna plump me up like that, <laughs> John Legend at fifty? Okay. Okay. We're just ordinary people. people. Oh, that was my song. Ordinary people. Take it slow. Oh. Yeah, playing is gorgeous. Like I love the way he played. I saw him first. I saw him for the first time is when the first when I first time I saw Kanye at the House of Blues and shit. And this mm. boy, he was even famous. I was like, dude on the piano was cold. I didn't even know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude on the piano. And he did the, the what the hell are you? Hell are you wait on our court? Yeah, he was on our court. Kanye did. The, he yeah, that, that was one of the songs he played. I was like, mm. dude on the piano was tight. I was like, yeah. Because like yeah, really? he was there. And also he had the violin chick was there too. Uh, the Miriam. Oh, yeah, Mary. Yeah. There, like as part of Kanye's entourage. But it was a young, unknown John Legend was there. That was <laughs> <laughs> Anita Baker, fourteen. Okay. Sweet love. La -ba 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 -ya -ya. <laughs> I think about Leon Rogers and um when Courtney Higgs she did this for, for karaoke and shit. And um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't really imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to go off the rails, but go ahead. It's about to go off the rails. <laughs> And Leon was like drunk as hell already. These when they were in Jamaica. <laughs> he was like, "What's the fuck am I watching?" He thought it was like a fever dream and shit. It's like, now we I should have been there for that. I wanted to see Courtney do fucking Anita Baker and shit. Let's go. She has a whole vibe though. Popping the rapture of love is a whole vibe. It is. Yeah. And body and soul. She had hits, man. Yeah, Anita Baker. Yeah, Anita did have some hits. Yet. I think didn't she do her farewell? I think she retired. She did her farewell show. I think. Yeah, it didn't go as well. People were upset. They said she was Lauren Hill late for her performances. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a reason why Lauren Hill closed out the BET Awards. Yeah. And I kept joking that I said Lauren Hill's going last. They probably still waiting for her to get there. <laughs> and sure enough, she went dead last. I was like, <laughs> <Her> late ass. <laughs> they kept announcing coming soon. Lauren Hill. I was like, she's going to, she's closing this show out. It ain't no coming soon. She'll be the last person you see is Lauren Hill at this show. <laughs> Al Green, 13. Hey, love and happiness. And us, let's stay together. Loving you. I like to see Al Green. I would like to see him. Because it's good or bad or happy or sad. Let's go, man. Yes. Because he had them hits that, you know, it's like the hits that your mama played when she was cleaning the house. Like, that's the music you listen to for Al Green. I'm so tired of being. Because so he had like a distinct, like, I like his yeah, voice. Yeah, that voice, man. Yeah, you know him yeah. when you hear him. He had that mm -hmm. voice. Brandy, number 12. Okay. Okay. Mo to the, the E to the. That about enough. It's so hard to see. Well, some call her the vocal Bible. I've seen that that they call her that. They call her the vocal Bible. They do. Most. Okay. Brandy. Yo, Scott, your girl number eleven. You put it. You probably would have had her higher, but at least she made. I would have had her top five. Yeah. <laughs> they had Jill, like yeah, number eleven. You've seen multiple. You probably lost count how many times. Like, seen her. Me right to you, I can't that. If you guys know, you know about Crown Royal and Ice. You know about that. Yeah. And matter of Play fact, that song with caution. Play it with caution because you might fact, end up. I'll walk, I'll walk you down the aisle to He loves me. He loves me. So Jill Squad was in your wedding. Yeah. You yeah. I had to play He Loves Me yeah. while I walked down the aisle. Yeah. Now we get into our top 10. Let's go. Mariah. Okay. I support Mariah. Mariah, Mariah has that, that range. That Mariah. Mariah hits the. Oh, she hits the. The dough is she hits it like that. Okay. Mariah had hits too. Absolutely, she got hits. <laughs> that Emancipation and Mimi, that album was that was her comeback album. Like, okay, like you wanted, you got rid of me. Okay, her record label paid her to go away, and yeah. that's what she came back with. Yeah, because she that's hit the only awesome way to say uh, to somebody. Why we glitter and then she her comeback was the Emancipation of Mimi. Mm -hmm. That was her comeback. Yeah. So how do you come back like this? That's when we belong together. Okay. That's that's the we belong together album, I believe. Was the man? Yep. The we. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about us. Don't forget about us. She had hits. <laughs> she also had a very. She had a great diss song against Eminem too. With the, Why are you so, so upset? obsessed with me? 
Yeah, she did a, She won a rap battle with Eminem. What does that say? Because <laughs> Mariah won to me. Is <laughs> Mariah won a rap battle against Eminem? She won that. I don't. Even, I don't <laughs> remember. I don't even remember Mariah's Eminem song about Mariah. But I remember obsessed. <laughs> so so Mariah. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> don't even remember his song. <laughs> so yeah, she definitely won that one. <laughs> Number nine. Let's go to the honey dance. Yes. I still do that dance. T-Bob. TLC, yes. Uh, and Chili, number nine. TLC. Because they don't want no scrubs. Rest in peace, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. That was your bae, Lisa. <laughs> you know, none of them were ugly, but yeah. Uh, Lisa. <laughs> like Lisa Another one, fire. they were all uh, beautiful. Firecracker, that's probably why I like, <laughs> I like Yeah, You always go for the nutty ones. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Usher. Yes. They call me U S H E R R A Y M. Everybody fell miserably at the. <laughs> Everybody fell miserably at that challenge, the superstar challenge. <laughs> Number seven, Aliyah. Aliyah, okay. I want you to ride the boat, ride the boat. Aaliyah, like, that album, that one in a million album was. We that was the album. We saw her live at the Super. We did. We saw yeah. her live. Yeah. Ninety seven. Yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember I would be practicing all the dances. I'd be doing the hot life fire dance. You know. All right. I think we got some bullshit coming up next. Oh God. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Cause I, I peeked ahead. Frank Ocean, number six. We just can't get rid of this dude. It's a, remember when Apple did their hottest, so they number one albums. Like his album was a top tornado five. flew around my room. Top five like, on this one and shit. Made top five. On that. That's how he sounds. So we just can't escape Frank Ocean. <laughs> I'm saying that boy can't sing. <laughs> He's making it near the top of all these lists for some reason. <laughs> so, 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 so was he an industry plant? That's my I next question. Frank Ocean <laughs> might be a plant. Yeah. I'm, I'm, was I'm, he an industry plant? Because he might be a plant. I'm starting to lean towards. Said no one ever. Who's your favorite singer? Frank Ocean said no one ever. Exactly. Like you know, my favorite singer. Who's my favorite? Jill Scott is my favorite singer. Mom is Patty LaBelle, probably or Aretha Franklin. He likes one of them, but yes. Yeah, like, when well, you were thinking about but said no one ever, Frank Ocean. Yes. No, I, I'm gonna do a poll of that. Who's your favorite singer? I bet oh, no one's gonna not say one, Frank Ocean. Not gonna be one Frank Ocean vote. Not gonna be one Frank Ocean. I'll be willing to bet like real money for Number that. Five. Okay, I'm I'm not bad at this. A lot of people said she was way too high, but SZA, I like her. is a whole vibe. I like SZA's vibe. She's a vibe. Another bay right there. Well, you like SZA, so <laughs> I don't know if you like her music, but you like SZA. She makes good music too, like Snooze and all that. She makes good music. Yeah, she got. Mm -hmm. I like the one. She's a she vibe. She's a whole vibe. She yeah. is. I like the Kendrick one. The all the stars from Black Panther. I like that. She got some bangers. There. She got mm -hmm. heat. Number four. Let's keep going. Sade. Yes. Okay. Okay. My other vibe. That's He's a nice. A uh, mom wouldn't like that because she don't like Sade. She mom wouldn't even put Sade on this list, let alone this. Uh... <laughs> Sade, okay. Number three, Mary. Mary. I do the Mary J. Mary. You do okay. the kick. We've seen Mary live. We've seen her twice. Yeah, we've seen Mary uh, twice. A few times live, yeah. She definitely yeah. D'Angelo at number two. Oh. I forgot about D'Angelo, Brown Sugar. Okay, yeah. How does it feel? The harmonies on that. How does it feel? Like he was hearing them harmonies on that. Boom. And I guess we know who number one is. We got about do because her picture was up there. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's talk about this. It's like who was missing it. Shit is like. <laughs> Patty Aretha where, Whitney. Where the, where where the fuck was Luther at? Patty Aretha Whitney. Yeah. Where the fuck I start there. That's where I start. Those I three. Went straight to Luther is where I went straight to. Later. Luther, okay. Where the fuck Where's was Luther? Um, <laughs> where, where are the temptations? Yeah, it's like what do they um like what do they describe as R and B? Like yeah, like is, are they in a set? It's like soul considered different than R and B. Like what is what was the yeah. criteria for this list? Is like yeah. Because they had Al Green on there, so they had an older person. They had, Green, they had Aaron Neville, so you had some older artists. On um, where the hell is Ron Isley? 
the Isley brothers, yeah. Like where the yeah. hell is Ron Isley at? Come on, yeah. <laughs> Voyage to Atlantis. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Where the hell is Jackson's at? Yeah, that's Michael. one thing with uh Michael and yeah, because that's one I was like Michael and Prince, but like are they R and B? That's what I was thinking. It's like Prince was just music. He well, Prince didn't Prince have was music. Like, Prince was the artist. He was the artist. You can't Prince define. Didn't, Prince didn't have a genre. He just made music. And I was like, he was the artist. He was the artist. That's what Michael, Prince was. They put him under the pop category. Where did they put Michael? Like they call him the king of pop. Oh, where the hell was James Brown? Yeah, it's like the Godfather right there. It's like yeah. Cause that's what my first my I was like Whitney where's Whit because they had Mariah so naturally like I said because they always pit Whitney and Mariah against each other they always pit those two Whitney so um, that's the first name? I thought where's Whitney? Whitney they put her pop too it's like yes yeah, yeah. she wants to dance with somebody to me like the artist of Luther Vandross is on me I'm like where the fuck is Luther at? It's like, <laughs> like where was Luther at yeah because how many people got uh, how many how many of us are probably conceived to like some Luther people our age right probably... Our parents probably put some Luther on. Um, Marvin Gaye. Oh. Marvin Gaye. I was Teddy, about to say Teddy Pendergrass. Teddy P. I was about to say Teddy P. Dun 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 dun. Come here, baby. Because <laughs> Teddy would tell you, turn them lights out. <laughs> he would get you in the mood. And Marvin had like that candle. Marvin has sexual healing. Let's go. Mm-hmm. He who hesitates masturbate whatever he said at the end of the song. <laughs> don't hesitate. Or you'll masturbate something. I don't know. Hesitate to masturbate whatever the fuck he said. Whatever he said. <laughs> oh, what you gonna call it? Uh, another good good group that they could sing. Uh, where's the whispers? Where are they at? Yeah, and the beat. The goes twins on. could sing. The whispers. Them twins could sing. They could. And the beat goes on. Doom. And even Ariana was like, oh, mommy, I like the whispers. Like when I play the whispers in the car, she's like, mommy, I like them. I was like, okay. Because we knew uh, what's the name wasn't going to make it. No surprise for all of you R. Kelly fans. You knew that wasn't going <laughs> to happen. Come on, knock it off. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah. Even yeah. Belongs. Some people would have had him at number one, but um, you knew he wasn't making this. Pause. Flash. They said pause, flash, pause, flash, flash pause. Yeah. He knew that, wasn't, the going, for that, real that quick. wasn't going to happen. So, like, so, but these other ones is the legit claim, but like, we knew R. Kelly wasn't going to be on Whitney is like the glaring one. Whitney and Luther are probably the most glaring ones for me yeah. because to the me, voices, the they both, Whitney yeah. Houston was called the voice. Yeah. She, I'm she just was thinking all that time. Stevie Wonder didn't make that list. Stevie Wonder. Lionel Richie didn't make that list. I'm just thinking. Right, I was about to say him next. <laughs> Yo, let's look at all the who we are the world. Let's let's look at all the people who sing yeah, on there. Yeah. <laughs> let's look at the whole we are the world. It. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she might be the only one from the whole thing that made it. Tina Turner might be the only one that made it. <laughs> Where was the, what's your Dion Warwick had a voice. Where was Dion Warwick? <laughs> Dion. <laughs> Smoke, oh. Smokey Robinson. <laughs> Where was Rick James? Come on. James, Keep it to me, baby. Rick James, he had. Um, come on. The Pointer Sisters. I'm just thinking of all kinds of names now. Automatic, because she sang that bass. Automatic. We just, we just watched Axel F, and they play I'm Just Burning, doing the Neutron Dance. We just watched Beverly Hills Cop. Them girls could sing. They could sing, Pointer Sisters. Yeah, we just watched that. <laughs> but, yeah, I had to read that. I'm like, come on. <laughs> no Luther Vandross. Like, ah. I mean, uh, let's, look at all the, let's look at the name. Yeah, I got Frank Ocean, but not Luther Vandross. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let's look at the um. <laughs> let's, let's look at slow jams. Looking for some Marvin Gaye. Didn't make it. Luther Vandross. Get Luther it. Anita, she made it. Okay. <laughs> Looking for some ready for the world. Didn't make it. New edition. Didn't make it. <laughs> it's like most of the people that are Jamie Foxx. Robinson. Freddie Jackson. Jackson. Al Green made it. Okay. Al Green. Oh. Al Green. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so well, most of the IT brothers. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> so la, most of the names da, 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 that he mentioned that on the Slow Jams record weren't on this list. Well, most of them should have been on it. I'm happy Usher made it though, because I think Usher, like I said, I always say, um, if this is your chain, if this is your pyramid, whatever. Okay, of course, Michael and Prince, of course, that's. That's the top, of course. Nothing above Michael and Prince. Then, like, you go on the next tier, okay? You go there, you start going out. Like, Usher is definitely a baby goat. Mm. 
Usher's a baby goat. I say he is a baby goat. He is. He's definitely just, a baby goat. It just hit me. <laughs> Beyonce didn't make that list. Beehive is coming for Forbes. Oh, oh, oh. They're coming for you, Forbes. <laughs> the Beehive. How dare you, Forbes? They coming. They coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit me. <laughs> Cause I see my Mount Rushmore performers, and I got Beyonce. I was like, Beyonce didn't make that list. Did they, nor did Destiny's Child. Like, cause they could have yeah. snuck out with that one because they had TLC. They had Escape. <laughs> they had In Vogue. No Destiny. In Vogue. No Destiny. Because they had good harmonies. Destiny's Child, like especially when you listen to um, like I say, listen to them sing the Amen when they do that. Yeah. They do the seven amens and the harmony is that they hit. They hit that harmony. It was on point. Heard, but like we always do these. All I heard, when that, I when I saw I thought about Beyonce didn't make it, the first thing I thought Forbes was uh oh uh oh uh oh because <laughs> uh oh yeah. Uh oh y'all in trouble. Uh oh. Uh -oh. But as we always say about lists, lists are subjective. Yeah, I don't get mad at these lists. It's just fun to read. And like I saw when I saw it pop up in my um timeline, you know, like I I got I follow a lot of music um mm -hmm. channels and groups, and I saw that like that'd be fun to discuss. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, Scott should have been top five. But that's another. <laughs> My opinion, Jill Scott should have been top five. Maybe some of you. Uh, I, I I love Jill. Scott. She's my favorite. But yeah. so, mm. let's wrap it up on that note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on Frank Ocean being <laughs> yeah, top number six on that. So you can't get rid. You can't get rid of him. <laughs> you can't escape Frank Ocean. It's like <laughs> you cannot escape him. And shit. <laughs> Not another damn podcast 371. What an episode. Mm -hmm. Went way over time. But yeah, we definitely appreciate <laughs> definitely appreciate you supporting. If you want to support us further, you know what to do. Give us a like. Also, subscribe, share, rate for all your platforms. Talking Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud, iHeart, YouTube, your Amazon Alexa devices. And you can follow me at Ozman the Wizard on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Oz Radio on Snapchat and Facebook as well. And you can check me at MSIMH626 on Instagram, TikTok, and X. Also, S E R H U L E Y 1 on X, S E R H U L E Y 7 on Instagram. Also, please like the Straight Gully Facebook fan page and check out, check out straightgully.com for your blogs and your vlogs. I'm Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. We'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs>